Hey guys, welcome back. Todd here again with TW Home Show, and today I'm back in the RV one more time. Well, many more times, but this time I wanted to share with you. Of course, last time we did the tile peel and stick tile backsplash. I also did it back in the back bathroom back there. You can probably see it from here. But anyways, today I wanted to do some special bling lighting, LED lighting below the cabinets here. I noticed they had a nook below the cabinets, right in here and in here and all the way across those different nooks, all the way till underneath the fireplace there. And I noticed there's an outlet behind this panel right here that stays on constant for the TV set. So that's a 110 outlet. I'm gonna hook my LED strips up after placing channel in all these crevices underneath the cabinets and then hook it up to a smart Alexa switch. So stay tuned, we'll see how that goes. Alright guys, uh, for this LED project in the RV, I'm going to be using these GoV, you know that's my go-to brand, GoV LED lighting strips, and uh, these are multicolor. I really wanted just white, but this one has the controller on it that reacts to uh, music and sound, and I thought that would be a unique gimmick to have in this RV, so we're going to go ahead and use these, mainly using them on the white though, that's my preference. I don't want any 1990s psychedelic colors going on in my RV. I just want it to look nice and bright when I need it. I also have these tracks. Now this track here, it comes with a, uh, a fogged lens. You can see that, and this is rectangular. So I can mount this up underneath of the cabinet stand areas, the cabinet legs down below here, or I'm going to try both. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. This one is an angled one, so we'll kind of angle the lights out, down and out. See that? So we'll see which one goes the best and which one is less revealed. I don't want it. I don't want anybody to see this track if, if I can help it while it's underneath there. I'm going to I want it tucked all the way back and up so that just the light is shining and they don't know where that light's coming from. It looks built in. That's my goal. All right, there's my outlet behind here. And like I said, that stays on with the house batteries, even with the generator not on, even if it's not plugged into shore power. There's uh, actually four outlets in the 2014 Tiffin Allegro Open Road that will stay constantly powered 110. Uh, you know, most of them go out unless you have the inverter on and connected to shore power, but there's four outlets that stay on. And that's the three TVs in here, the front, the middle one, and the rear TV stay on. Those outlets stay on. And also there's one below the passenger seat that outlet stays on for utility reasons while you're driving. Now that's how you remove the fireplace.
All right, guys, I've got all my sections cut. These are aluminum uh, channels, and I'm using all the, the angled ones, so they'll kind of angle down and out from the cabinet bottoms. And I've cut also the milky uh, color diffuser, plastic diffuser panels to match the length. And I just cut those with some tin snips. And they're all cut and laid out here and here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the LEDs, the Gobi LED light strips, and I'm gonna dry fit that and uncoil the whole roll and then snake it through all the way to the end and make sure all of my holes through connect. And I won't stick them yet. I'm gonna keep the double-sided tape on the back, still adhere to the back of the LEDs until I get the channels put in place. But first I wanna make sure these are long enough. They should be, they're 16.4 inches long, but with all that snaking, there might be some waste sections. So let's see how that goes. All right, now I'm taking some alcohol just to clean these areas out. Because I may use a double-sided sticky tape to assist in holding these aluminum channels up underneath. And I think I'm gonna put a screw into each end here after I get these stuck up there so that they won't fall down. Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history, yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy. When we're in too deep. And you and I, we got history, yeah. Alright guys, I've got it dry fit tested. Everything's looking good. All the lights are lighting up as you can see. The remote control's working. It's a IR infrared remote, so I'll have to stick that remote out the vent out of this top here. But it's plugged in back down here. And like I said, I want it mostly white. And then we could dim it as well by clicking it down. And we can turn it up by clicking the brightness up. You can switch it to sound, uh, green, red, blue, and then you can have it do uh, different variations too. Let's see, we'll do a mode here, so it'll go through different colors. But anyway, that's, that's good for now. I'm going to go ahead and continue. I'm going to get the uh, strips up there to hold it, and I can't wait to see the results. Stay tuned. All right guys, what I did was I took and put double-sided tape on each edge in different spots. I'm gonna peel this off. And then I'm gonna put a screw into each end just to anchor it in place and keep it sturdy.
Hey guys, all right, finished with the project, but I just wanted to show you some of the stuff that we've already done in case you missed these videos. We put the tile backsplash peel and stick behind the counter there, it turned out really well, all the way even around this door here, entry door from the RV. And the other day, I continued that with the master bathroom back here with that tile look and new wallpaper over here. So it turned out very, very nice. If you're wanting to do something like this to your RV, they've got several different designs. We like this one because it was light and airy and bright. Those mirror tiles, it added a whole lot more light into the RV. So I still have to do some work in the master bedroom here. It's still very dark. So I'm deciding what I'm gonna do with that. All right, now for the grand finale, the RV floor cabinet lights. Echo, turn on RV floor. Okay. Nice guys, very nice. I'm loving it. Turned out very unique and just what I was imagining. Echo, set RV floor to Okay. Look at that. And it, uh, this is the reason why I like the Govi light, LED light strip brand is because it's got Alexa built in. I didn't even need to purchase that uh, smart plug for Alexa. It's all built into Govi and it works. It's discovered on Alexa after you configure it, the Wi-Fi connection to your home and it works real well. So guys, you have three different methods to operate these Govi LED lights underneath your cabinets and I suggest you guys do this at home. This isn't just an RV project. I would recommend doing this at home. In fact, I probably will in my house and I'll make another video on that when I do. Um, but you can control the Govi with its separate IR remote control. Say for instance now we'll turn the brightness up. And the brightness is full blast now. Or you can use the Govi app on your smartphone. Or you can use Alexa. Echo. Turn on RV floor lights to red. Okay. Guys, it works. Echo. Turn on RV floor lights to green. Okay. So guys, it works. Echo. Turn on RV floor lights to white. Okay. I'm very impressed, guys. Thank you for tuning in again today to watch another one of my RV videos. Hopefully this helped you out in case you have an RV and you're thinking of doing some unique modifications. This one's a cool one. Guys, I'll see you on the next video. Echo. Turn off RV floor. Okay, to make sure I understood you, did I turn off the right device? Yes. Great, thank you.